Hi everyone, welcome back. Guess it will be exciting creating a lovely web-based UI for your Visrino PLC project. With the help of Node-RED and Visrino Modbus, you can do just that with a few clicks. In this video, we will interface our Visrino programmed PLC to Node-RED to test its functionality. We will also create a lovely project out of this idea in subsequent videos. Let's get started. Kindly subscribe if you've not done that already and also press on the notification bell. This way you always be notified whenever I upload new videos. To start with, you need a Raspberry Pi running Node-RED. You also need the PLC, that's the Arduino PLC. You can also use a normal Arduino board for this. You need the USB cable to wire things up. Now you need to upload this particular sketch into the Arduino PLC and this sketch was developed in the previous tutorial. The link is provided below for you to download and then upload this sketch onto the PLC board. Next step is to install Node-RED on the Raspberry Pi. This tutorial DIY Arduino PLC project, Open PLC meets Node-RED. I have given details as to how to install Node-RED on Raspberry Pi. The link is provided below for you to do just that. Now connect one end of the USB to the Raspberry Pi and then the other end to the Arduino PLC board. This is the final setup. You power it up, I power the PLC on, and then the Raspberry Pi also on as well. Now to access the, the Node-RED interface, move to a web browser running on any computer on your network, and then use the IP address of the Raspberry Pi port 1880 to access that. This is the injection node that we'll be making use of. And when you scroll down, we have the blocks for the mod bus we have the response block used to read or to display data read from the ras from the mod bus now let's read data from the mod bus so we use the mod bus read connect the output to the response block Now we need to double click on it to configure it. We give it a name. We are reading the holding register. So holding register test. No topic. ID is one. Now the FC is where we specify where we are reading the data from. So we are reading the holding register. The address is zero. And then the quantity we are reading for now is one. The pulling rate, I specify it as two. And then I select seconds. Now we need to specify the modbus server here. And to configure that, you click on this particular pencil. That's already been configured, but this is how you do it. You specify the name for the server. And then you specify the mode of transmission. We are using Syria. Now we need to also specify the ports where you are connected to the Raspberry Pi. In this case, it's the last option. Now we select the RTU buffet. Board rate is 115200. ID is 1. And then timeout is 1000 milliseconds. Great. We click on the update. And then we can click on done. Now let's bring another response block so that we can read the input register. Wire this up to the response block. Double click on this to configure it. So we give it a name, input register test, ID is 1, FC is the input register, we select that. The address we are reading from address 0, so we specify that. Quantity will be reading one word. And then the pulling is 2 seconds as well. 
server is already specified and we can see we have only one server active okay great i click on done now let's read the input status i bring the response block and then the read block connect it up now double click on it to configure it so we give it a name that's the input status no topic we id is one and then we need to select the input status read address we are starting from zero and the quantity remember our input is six so i specify six here the pulling rate i set it at two seconds the same server selected and then i click on done Now let's write to the call so that we can turn the release on and off. We need the write command. Now double click on it to configure it. So this will activate relay one. So I specify relay one as a name. ID is one. Now we need to specify that we are writing to a call. Then we hit specify the address, which is zero for the relay one. And then server also selected, click on the now we need to send information to activate this so we use the injection node so i have two of them but first we need to configure so this is our relay on command now change this section to a number so that we can specify a number so we send one to turn the relay on we come to the next injection node which will be really off we specify a number here and then set it to zero to turn the relay off now connect it to the right block and note we need to repeat this thing for all the six relays so i highlight it up and then copy and paste six of them now we change this one to relay two and then the address is one click on done change the next one we need to do that for all the relays that is the address now click on the deploy we can see it's now connected to the mod bus and we can see the data coming in we can see that the random data is changing and we are receiving it at the holding register and then the input register as well working perfectly we can see currently our input status are all showing true because they are pulled up now if i send a voltage to the input you can see the first one goes to false now I move to the next one also goes to false next false next fall the next one and then the final one we can see that we can read all the status of our inputs we now look at our release I click on this section to activate the relay one and then I can turn it off relay two on off relay three on off relay four relay five weekend and then finally relay six great I can now turn all of them on to as well and we can see that okay now you can turn them off working perfectly now 
Now let's try and write to the holding register. So we bring the write block and now move to the inject node. Wire it up to the right block. Double click on it to specify a figure that we'll be writing. So I specify 55 here and then give it a name. I double click on this to also configure that. And then the same name for this. ID is one. We are seeing that we are presetting the value a single register the address is zero and then click on that great now let's bring a debug node so that we can read what exactly we are sending to the holding register I click on deploy and then click on debug now when I click on this you can see I have sent 55 is a bit of delay I send it again and you can see 55 is registered there working perfectly it's been overwritten by another number I'll send it again and we can see it's working perfectly thank you all for watching in our next tutorial we'll move on and design a lovely UI for a lovely project we'll be creating thank you for watching see you in the next tutorial bye bye